Okay, here is a new spy watch we have for sale. It's a very nice silver on black design. It looks really good and performs even better. This is a rock solid high quality watch. It takes clear 720 by 480 video at 30 frames per second with virtually zero drop frames. It has 8 gigabytes of internal memory for storing hours of recorded video. The video from this watch is very good compared to many of the other uh, spy cameras that I see out there. The colors are vivid, the picture is clear and crisp, and I couldn't detect any frame drops at all. The lens is set for somewhat distant recording, meaning it almost has a zoomed effect. This is good for a spy watch because most of the time you might want to be taking covert video from a distance of at least 10 feet away or so. It's kind of hard to spy on someone when you are right in their face, right? The recorded video is actually rather good. The mic is sensitive and can pick up voices from over 10 feet away. Hello. Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you today? Good. Busy today? <laughs> this spy watch comes packaged with the watch itself, a USB cord, an AC adapter, and the original instructions. Now the Chinese instructions are very difficult to understand, so if you order one of these for me, you will get this set of exclusive, easy to read, true English instructions developed by me personally. My instructions will get you up and running in only a few minutes. Now the first thing I notice about this watch is that it is just downright cool looking. The band itself is a little rubbery and it's stretchy, and it was designed to get wet. Now this is a real watch that tells time with an analog clock, so the mic will also pick up the internal ticking sound the watch makes as the hands move. One thing some people have asked me is if it's possible to turn off the ticking sound to make it disappear from the resulting audio tracks. The easiest way to do this is just pull out the time set dial as if you're trying to set the clock and then record video. This stops the clock and the ticking altogether. The camera is intentionally positioned upside down in the clock face. This is so that when you are wearing the watch it will take video right side up when your arm is in a normal position. That way you can wear it like a regular watch and take video without anybody suspecting it. Charging the watch is simple. Just plug it into your computer's USB port with a charge cord. And the LED lights will begin blinking, telling you it is charging. When the battery is full, the LED will stop blinking and remain steady. Alternatively, you can use the included AC adapter to charge the watch from any wall outlet. This is especially convenient because with 8 gigabytes of internal memory and great compression hardware, you will run out of battery life before you run out of storage space. The internal battery will give you nearly 2 hours of recording time when fully charged. Now a word of caution about charging the battery, I have noticed in many spy cameras like this that the internal circuitry is not the best at peak charging the battery. If you leave this or any other tiny little spy gadget on the charger too long, it can overheat and shorten battery life. I recommend charging for at most three hours or even less if you're just topping off the battery. To turn the camera on, simply hold down this lower button here. When the LED changes color, let go and after a second it shifts to solid blue. This is standby mode. Now you can either take video, a still picture, or audio only. We will start with taking video. To start recording video, just quick press the lower function button. The blue LED will blink three times and then go out. You are now recording video with audio. Now one really cool feature about this watch is you can tell if you are recording simply by quick pressing the lower function button again. Just give it a quick press and the blue LED will blink three times and then go out again. This is an excellent feature to give you a quick indication if your watch is still recording or if it has perhaps saved and powered off due to low battery or something. Now to manually stop recording video, you just hold down the lower function button until the red LED blinks three times and then goes out. This saves the file and also powers down the watch. One important question about this spy watch is, how long will it record for on a full charge? To answer this question, I charged up four watches all the way, hit the record button, and let them record video undisturbed. When I checked each watch the next morning, each one had very much the same results.
They each record 30 minute files, then save that file, and then begin a new recording. They continue in this fashion until the battery runs out, at which point it saves the final file, then shuts itself off. Every watch had two full 30 minute files, then a subsequent 10 or 15 minute file, and then a final file which was anywhere from 1 to 10 minutes long. This happened almost exactly the same with four separate tests of four different watches. So the watch intelligently saves shorter and shorter video files when it senses the battery is getting low. So you can expect at least 80 minutes of recorded video on one full charge of the battery. These four files total about one and a half gigabytes, which is less than one-fifth of the eight gigabyte internal memory. This equals nearly seven hours of storage capacity if you are recording video with audio. On the other hand, there is also an option to record audio only. And because audio only files take up far less than video, I'm guessing you could get over 100 hours of audio only into the eight gigabyte watch. If you want to record audio only, just hold down this upper function button for a couple of seconds until the red LED blinks three times and then goes out. You are now recording audio. To stop recording, just quick press the button again. The watch can also take still pictures, which is handy if you need just a snapshot of something. Just quick press the upper function button and the LED will turn red and then go back to blue, indicating a picture has been taken. I know there's a lot of watches on the market, so be careful of imitations. Other spy watches might look similar to this one, but if you order one from me, you can be certain of exactly what you're getting. Order now, you can have it in two to three days. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you want to see more cool gadget videos. Hello. Hello. I'm ready when you're ready. Okay. I might wait for my other half to get here. How are you doing?